So what do you get when you mix uh, the director of Star Wars, George Lucas, and the director of Jaws, Steven Spielberg? Where you get one of the greatest action movies ever made. The uh, first three Indiana Jones movies were some of my favorite movies growing up. Like, I've watched them dozens and dozens of times. Those are my favorite childhood movies along with the original Star Wars and the Back to the Future and, I guess, the Spongebob movie. <laughs> So when I heard they were bringing it back to theaters, of course I had to see it. Like, it's Indiana Jones, man. It's Raiders of the Lost Ark. The first of four movies, though. I pretend first of three movies. Starring Harrison Ford as the iconic archaeologist. Kind of go back and forth between liking this one the best and liking Last Crusade the best, because they're both really good movies. And I gotta say, Temple of Doom, while not as good as the other ones, is still very underrated when it comes to Indiana Jones movies. Like, I feel like people don't talk about that one enough, but I think it's great too. So, in this first one, Indy is hired by the U.S. government to track down the Sacred Ark of the Covenant. However, the Nazis are also looking for the Covenant, and having the Nazis as a villain is always a smart move. Because you're able to just see them die left and right and feel no sympathy for them because they're Nazis. Like, any other group of people, you'd feel some sympathy for them dying constantly. Not the Nazis. <laughs> so I think that was a smart choice by him. They're able to have this uniqueness to it while also being reminiscent of those 1930s serial movies that uh, Lucas and Spielberg loved growing up to see many different countries and they actually filmed it in these countries rather than in front of a green screen like all the new movies do. I love all the side characters from Marion to Sala to uh, the professor guy but of course the main story the main standout is Harrison Ford like he's incredible it's probably the best role he's ever played he was born to play this part and he has such a gravitas to it you know he's not like the typical action hero who could just get shot 40 times and be fine, you know, looking at you, John Wick. He he actually gets injured. He has a this really dry sense of humor that works so well with the movie. The little smoke he does, he's very sarcastic. <laughs> everybody wanted to be Harrison, well, everybody wanted to be Indiana Jones growing up, including me. I was in for Halloween when I was a little. But yeah, um, it has all the comedy, action, and horrific ending that scared the crap out of me when I was little, um, with all of them, you know, the covenant opening, all the Nazis' faces melting, it's an iconic ending, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a classic movie, you know, they don't make them like this anymore, and I feel like we've come to an age of movies where Hollywood doesn't really take risks like this on big budget movies, you don't see an original idea that's not like a remake or something, get a huge budget like it did. So I suppose it's by an established director. Um, but in that case, even still, you don't really see big budget original movies anymore. But yeah, Where Does the Last Dark, in my opinion, is one of the few perfect movies <laughs> um, in every way. Even the scene with a bug crawls inside that one guy's mouth. It's like, <laughs> ew. But every scene is memorable. You don't get that with that many movies. Where every single scene of the movie you remember. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of Raiders of the Lost Stalk, and do you want me to talk about the other movies, the other Indiana Jones movies? If so, let me know down in the comments below. And will you guys be seeing Indiana Jones 5? To me, I feel like Disney and Lucasfilm have kind of lost me. Like, I don't really trust them anymore after what they did to Star Wars and what's going on now with Marvel. It's just a plateau of mediocrity. So, I don't know if I'll see it or not. Maybe I'll wait till it gets on DVD and get it from the library. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.